Hi everyone, Kevin here from Simova. This video is for anyone wanting to efficiently store documents while using Business Central and when also actively working with Outlook. So if that's you, then you're definitely at the right place. So you might be in Outlook here and you have a lot of documents in the attachments of an email that you receive from a customer, a vendor or a business partner in general. And before, what I always did was either store those documents manually in a SharePoint, OneDrive or a team structure. Or what I also did was attaching documents to the pin that we have in Business Central. However, that is not the way to go. Why? Because it's a lot of manual labor that you have to do. You have to download the document, store it somewhere in my file explorer or on my desktop, open the application where I then need to store the document, find the respective subfolder or entity to store the document to, and then in the end, drag and drop the file to the destination from my desktop or the file explorer. And that takes a lot of time because let's be honest, it's extremely tedious to do stuff like that on a regular reoccurring basis. So let's solve that. What I got for you in this video is really the quickest and easiest way to store documents from Outlook in Business Central. And that not on the Business Central database, in a full audit proof and enhanced document storage, which is integrated straight in Business Central. For that, we have Document Central, which comes with its own Outlook integration to store documents. First of all, just to set things clear, a little more in Document Central itself. It's a fully integrated, multiply certified DMS solution for Business Central, where we have infinite ways to store documents. They are audit proof and super easy to find since they are connected to all necessary Business Central areas and processes that we need. More to Document Central and all the benefits that it brings can be seen in another video that we've linked below, where everything's covered all around why it benefits your document storage for Business Central. But now let's get to what makes the Outlook integration so exciting. If I now go to Outlook and I see a lot of documents in the attachments here, as I said in the beginning, I don't want to manually download those and then store them in a tedious way by those many steps that I talked about in the beginning. And for that document central link is the solution because it's an application straight for Outlook that lets me connect with my business central environment and company. As you see here, I can straight up set this up in here. And the system now detects based on the email address that I got in that, that case, the email address from Michael, which company belongs to that. In this case, Adatum Corporation. And it also shows which entities or which data sets in that case belong to that. And here, for example, we see all the sales quotes. We see the posted sales invoices and sales orders. So I can straight up just select, for example, a sales order and then upload the documents. So let's do that. I'll simply find the right sales order, which is the last one that we have for this customer. And then below in the attachments, I see all the attachments that I also see up here. And I can select as what do I want to upload which document. And in my case, I'm going to upload the email itself. So I always have the correspondence in my system and I say this is a correspondence as well. I'll upload the chair design as a technical design and the delivery note I will upload as a, of course, delivery note. So now just one click and we see up here all of the, of the documents are being uploaded in a very quick fashion i didn't have to download anything i saw all of the entities that i have in business central as well i can select one and then upload it just with three clicks if we now navigate back to business central into our sales orders list and we look at the right order that we uploaded the files to we see here that the document have passed the so-called inbound list and are automatically assigned to the right area. And with that, we have a tremendously easy way of uploading documents. The system immediately stores the documents where they need to be. 
So actually, there's no more hassle when wanting to effectively store documents from Outlook. Of course, only when you're using Business Central. As I said, the actual storage takes place in Business Central within the Document Central DMS. So if you don't know anything about that yet, check out the link below to find all the necessary information. And with that, thanks for watching this video. I hope you were able to get some value out of it. And feel free to check out our YouTube channel where there's a lot of helpful videos on extending Business Central for your needs. Leave a like, subscribe and see you next time.